In the last 19 seasons, no one has destroyed our stage and blamed it on science more than our next guest. Please welcome back our science guy, Steve Spangler. feeling because they never tell me what's going to happen this this is going to be a big one this is your last time on the show right <laughs> well i guess so uh, so yeah this is uh I went through over 100 demonstrations over the, all the time that we've been on the show together. And so I picked these because each one has something a little bit special. Okay. Okay, got yep. it? Yep, Okay, yep. I know you love magic. Yep, Ready? This I is do. as close to real magic as I can get okay. on your safety glasses. Okay. Because nothing says magic like putting on your safety glasses. All righty. All right, here's what I want you to do. Pick up the, uh, the, the beaker of clear liquid and the other beaker right here like this. Uh -huh. All right, so you present to the audience and now we pour the water into the other beaker. Ready, what? set, yep. and pour it in. All at once, good job. And now just kind of stare at it, concentrate, concentrate. You can say a magic incantation if you want. <gasps> oh my. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. I know, what I don't even know. there? I don't know. Uh, no. The molecules took a little time to connect. And once they connect, it's like a big party, they kind of hook up and then it changes color. So it's called a, well, that's a bad way of saying that, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, kids. But then it, it changes color, so it's called a clock reaction. Wow. But watch this. This is what's beautiful. Pour it back in with me. Ready? No, pour it in this big oh, one. Okay. Ready? Set, go. Look at that. And bam. Wow. Ta da! There it is. Wow. Um, oh, yeah, right there. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, no, you're for you. No, I don't have any. Okay, okay no. good. Um, you know what? We've done things with fire over the years, and it's made the Burbank Fire Department my best friend. Uh huh. So, yep. And you've got me out of a lot of trouble. So I was thinking, why not talk a little bit about fire? Talk. Okay. Okay. So uh, everyone knows that you don't just take a log and you put it in a fire and it works. It doesn't just catch on fire. You start with kindling. Now, if you really go to the extreme, you start with like sawdust. So sawdust where is great because there's oxygen around those particles. Got it? So that's your science. So this powder here is a spore from a plant, a club moss, and it doesn't catch on fire by itself, but once you put it in the air like this, then it surrounds it with oxygen. So I wanted to show you what that would look like. So glasses are on, and just be, you could use a match, but why not use a torch? So there's this, and then, see, watch this. See, ooh, awesome, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> who wants to dump it out that way when you can shoot it out? So. This one's gonna be yours. All righty. And, and I'm gonna put the, the powder in here for you like this. So this will, this is good. Okay, and then the powder's gonna come in here for me like this. Good. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hang on to the tube kind of in your hand like that, mm -hmm. okay? And then I'm gonna hang on to mine here like this. And then you're gonna start the, the flame and then keep it going and I'll say three, two, one, and then we blow as hard as you can. <laughs> this is really awesome. You know. <laughs> It's fun. If we had another year to go, nobody would be letting me do this. <laughs> that is actually true. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Okay, you ready? So, right. so squeeze it up. And then, and then blow in. Yeah, this? I'll tell you when. So squeeze it up. Okay, one more. There you go. Ready? Three, two, one, blow. Whoa! How cool wow. is that? Very there cool. There you go. Very cool. Grain elevator explosion. So for kids, they find out that uh, flour in those flour mills in the early 1900s would catch on fire. Just a little spark would set it off. So you saw the chain reaction there. So there is some educational value. Yes. Okay. okay. So I told you that the, all these had something special. And so now, without getting sentimental, this one's special to me. So when you had me on the show the very first time in 2007, at the very, <laughs> I'm getting all, uh, at the very end, we did a version of this. And you looked over at Andy, and you gave him the nod. And Andy came to me and said, would you like to come back? And it started a 15-year relationship. And um, so wherever I go, um, teach, uh, when I speak at events and things like that, teachers, I uh, do the thing with the red trash can. And so you've allowed me, you changed my life. You've allowed me to take these kinds of things all over the world. And because you like it, teachers like it. And because teachers like it, parents like it. And I think you probably did more for science education than anybody I could ever imagine. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah. I'm so glad. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. So here we go. I'll show you how to make this. You can do this at home because it's always fun. So first of all, you get a trash can. You put a hole in it. So that's why you use your neighbor's trash can. So just go to your neighbor. And then you do, it's fine. And then on this side, this is a clear shower curtain, and that's courtesy of the Holiday Inn. Okay. So they have really good, clean, that's not gonna get us in trouble, is it? And then, and then what you do is, well, here, can I help you put it on? Uh, okay, yep. so here we go. So put your, your, this arm in like this, and then over your head, uh -huh. good. All right, so there you go. Got it? 
So you can kind of hold there and then your hand can tap here. Now if you tap, there's air inside. Mm -hmm. So aim it towards me and uh -huh. tap and you can hit me with the air. Yeah, harder, harder. Ooh, good, okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. But you can't see it. No. So the cool part would be go get a smoke machine. Uh -huh. So just it's fine, just go okay. to your friends, whatever. And so get a smoke machine. And so now I'm gonna put the smoke in here like this. Oh, oh, there we go, good. So now, if you put the smoke in here, when you tap on the bottom, fast moving air will come out and watch what happens. So I think that's probably enough. So right over here, aim and just give it a good hit. Ready? Oh, look at that. Look at those. Is that great? Here, shoot over there, there you go, good, good, yeah. Okay, 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 you're good. So now it's a little game. You and I get to now knock cups off of the audience members' heads. So if you look there, look under your chairs, you might, in this section here, look, you got cups? Look at that, cups up. So uh, I'm gonna fill mine with smoke, I'm gonna fill yours with smoke, and then we're gonna get up there and we're just gonna try to hit and see if we can knock them off the heads. With the smoke? And with the smoke. So the rings are gonna kinda help protect us, or kinda give us an idea of where to aim. So that's a pretty good one for me. This one's gonna be an excellent one for you. And then hopefully we won't be able to see anything after that. Okay, come on up here. You ready? All right, you do that side, I'll do this side. On your marks. Get set, go, bam, bam, nice. You gotta put them back up again, look at you. Put them back up again. Look at all this, this, bam, oh, I got a triple shot over there. I know you, get it out of me, get it out of me. All right, Norma Steve after this. All right, we are back with our science guy, Steve Spangler, what is happening now? <laughs> well, uh, there has been some demonstrations over the 15 years that we developed just for this show, and they took off. And so now you see them on other shows. But they started here, and I figured, well, why not take one to the next level, right? Because you said anything worth doing is worth overdoing. And so... Did I say that? Well, I thought you did in a dream, uh, but <laughs> at least that's what I told the insurance agent. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we happen to have a little surprise for you backstage. Okay. Fair enough? Mm -hmm. Take a look at this. All righty. No. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Well, if you take a look here, Ellie is right here. There's Twitch. Uh, the rest of the front row, this is my family. So thank you for inviting okay. them. Jack Hi. and Mark and Scott Hi. and my wife Renee back there. Hi. Your family back there, Brian Higgins yep. back there. Yep. So they're dumping right now liquid nitrogen into these trash cans. Uh -huh. Okay? Yep. So liquid nitrogen, you know from over the years, like 320 degrees below zero. We've done so many things. We've cooked with it, we've done everything. But it's not good really for hot water. So that's why we put hot water in those buckets, okay? So, and don't worry that they're dressed like that. It's fine, okay? So <laughs> it's just to be protective. Right? So in just a second, they're gonna pick up the water. And then as the audience, we're gonna go three, two, one. Oh, and I, I added a little something special to the water. Whatever. So uh, they're going to, they're, they're, they're gonna pick up the buckets and then we'll go three, two, one, and then they're gonna dump them in. And the reason we're standing here is because it's maybe the messiest thing I've ever done. All righty. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, ready? Buckets up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're kind of heavy, because they're and they've got hot water in them, so yeah, I just want to make sure they're all in position. Oh, wow. Jack, you feeling good? Yeah. Everybody feeling okay. good? Everybody all the way around? Yeah. All right, the audience, help count me in. We'll do it from three. Here we go. Okay. Three, two, two, one, one dump! There we go. Holy Christ. <laughs> Holy moly. Are you guys still there? It's very cold. Oh, I see you now. Wait, it's, it's coming Can through. Can anyone see it? Okay, I think it's going to clear. All right, well. Everybody fan like this fan. Follow Steve on Instagram and TikTok to see more of his favorite science experiments. I want to thank Steve Sangler, Ellie Kemper. I want to thank all of you for watching. Thanks for being a part of my final season. I feel the love. It's in the back. Spread it around the world. Bye. Before, like, oh. I mean, look at this. Oh! Oh, you can see that. Yeah. <laughs>